Hello everybody. In today's class, we are going to work with the song if some ifs match index or time papers will go to if error, VLOOKUP and edge lookup. As all the formulas in Excel help us to do our work faster and easier. So let's begin with the sum if today. In this fictitious table, we see the data here we have and the data is depending on menu items and sales groups. Here we have menu items repeated. If you see something like a scanner here, same thing may be down here is scanner and in the similar way scanner so it is repeated so all, uh, among this uh, you know many items there may be repeating items computer and similar computer here and what we want to get here is the total of each items or the total to be paired to the sales person from here so here sorts by particular what is the total amount of any item that we type here. The show me function works in Excel for this. Let's go and find out what's the total of a scanner or what's the total of computer, the total amount from here. So let's begin with the formula of some equals to it sum me as we have a tab. The first thing the Excel demands with us is range. So where is the range? You are having the criteria here. So go and selecting the range. We are searching by particulars. So go and select the range where your particulars or items are. Then hit comma. Next thing it asks is criteria. What could be the criteria to be uh, to be here? And on the base of that, what to be total here? Right, so we would have criteria whatever we type here. Yes, the thing that we type here or the name of menu item that we type here could be the criteria. Comma. And the third thing it, it asks is the sum range. So what is the sum range? Either you like to get the total of May or June or July or whatever total amount. So we are going to add here the total amount. So go and selecting this range from here okay then go and close parentheses and hit enter it gives zero here because we don't have any criteria here let's go and type here SCA and an ER scanner yes this is the total of scanner it does not matter how many times it repeated it to it gives the total of all the item all the scanner from here similarly if you want to check the next you go and type k y b o e r the cable yes this is the amount of cable it's is two six seven zero 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 here and it may be next in cable yes five zero two five zero like this if you want to get the total through the name of salesperson, let's go find here. Hit equals to SVM IF a tab. The first thing it asks is the range. We are searching through the name of salesperson, so go and selecting the range from salesperson here. Comma. And the next thing it asks is criteria. Yes, criteria could be whatever we type here. And then the third thing it asks is the sum range. So select the sum range from here to be two. Okay. And close parenthesis and hit it. It gives zero because we don't have any name here. So go and type the name here. R A M B H A T T R O M B T. Yes, the total comes up here. Similarly, if you change the name here, R E P I R B G R U N G G R U N, yes, the total is. So, in a similar way, we'll go to some ifs, but some ifs function work with multiple criteria. In such cases, 
we should give two criteria like if if the item from here is repeating with the names from here at the time we'll go and sum it so for some if let's practice thank you for